Hi, this is James Garden, the Senior Tech Geek, and I'm at the Black Magic stand with one of the products that I'm most excited about at the show. Apart from HDR, I'm talking about products today, things you can buy now, a new product from Black Magic, and it is this product here, and Simon's, Simon's going to give us a quick overview. It's called the IP Video 12G. So you tell, us, tell me what it is, and then I'll explain it to the audience. Okay, right. Everybody's been talking to us about IP video for the last 12 months. That's right. We came here last year and we did a um, really a technology demonstration of where we felt IP video would fit within um, not just a single market but within broadcasting, post, and live events because there's quite clearly a, 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 a huge interest in IP across all of those different sectors. At the same time, I think there's a lot of confusion and a lot of manufacturers talking about different things, um, a lot of those overly complex, a lot of them requiring pretty hefty system design and support contracts and all of these things which all comes with money. Could we put IP video into a product that customers could buy and just go out and use IP video? And you know that's black magic and, and the way we develop products and the, right. and the philosophy behind the things that we do. So what you're holding in your hand there is an IP video 12G converter. And for anybody that knows our product range, it's in the same enclosure design as the Terran X Minis. So, you know, very much designed to be used standalone, or you can put three of these into a, right. a rack shelf. They can have a screen on the front too. They can have a smart panel with the screen yeah. and the, the direct controls on the front. So if you want to turn SDI, into IP, then that's your box. Now that might be IP that's then over uh, gigabit ethernet, over copper, or maybe over 10 gig fiber, because obviously people are gonna want to move SD, HD, and more importantly for a lot of people, ultra HD, um, over IP. Um, now, this is a standalone product to do that job, but I, I know that in one of the things that we've talked about this week and, and, and that you know, we said in our press conference and we've talked to people on the booth about, is we see the integration of, of, of IP into all Blackmagic design products. Moving forward, you know, um, imagine a situation where you may have a smart view monitor with just an IP connection. So you could connect to that very same monitor via fiber, SDI, right. or IP. You actually have, well, a prototype on that on the, on the floor here, so you can see it's already coming. Yeah. But I could also see, for example, um, your, just your switching range, your 12 by 12 or 36 by 36, whatever, having a new um, portion or a new module which adds the capability of putting ports like this on it as well. And, and see, one of the big things about going to IP, there is going to be a substantial transition period. So the integration of this with current technology is a big deal. And that will be the next stage, I imagine, that products like that, like the monitor, like other parts of the switches. So this is a start of a, a big new product move via uh, Blackmagic. Now, hold this, because I want to I just explain this. Why, why am I excited about this product? This product is, as we say, converting SDI into an IP packet. So putting it over your current, for example, everyone has IP infrastructure, switches, etc. because you're moving files around, you're doing posts, or you're doing something with data. This pretty much turns the uh, SDI infrastructure into a data infrastructure and can lay over the top of your current switching infrastructure etc now the interesting part about this box which is very uh, really really good and I really like is you'll see on the back here is you've got one gigabit and you've also got um, the 10g fiber optic connector here now they also have what's called the Tico compression now how that all comes together and it's very interesting a very clever move from them is that if you're doing um, anything like a 3G type interface. Obviously that's bigger than 1G Ethernet. The Tyco giving you a 4 to 1 compression allows you to put anything 3G or below over your current 1G infrastructure. So most of the content you're doing today, you get one of these, you can use your current infrastructure and start viewing it everywhere, but it is 4 to 1 compressed. Now if you're in a post facility and you need to see pixel peaking, make sure the pixels are pure, that's when you go into the 10G uh, interface and that's when you turn it into uncompressed. So with a 10G, you can put a signal that can fit down a 6G interface down the 10G uh, connector. And 
If you want to, you can even put all the future, 12G, et cetera, these new ones, because then you can put the TECO compression over the top of that again and fit those down your 10G infrastructure. So as you can see here, it allows you to pretty much deal with all the current and future standards into your IP infrastructure. So just think about that. Now, that's huge. Also on top of this, we didn't talk about it, they've got their complete virtual switching panel. So you know your switching panel for the current you know, 12 by 12 yeah, the video hubs, yeah. in all the yeah. video hubs, that now exists as a software virtual switching panel for all these devices. So you could have a 10G switch, you could have 10 of the, uh, with 12 ports and have 12, 12 of these switching around all over your facility and it turns into like having a switching fabric with a software based switch so you can switch anything to anywhere, duplicate the signals to any destination it just changes the way we build our facilities. And that allows you know, SDI, fiber, and IP to coexist. That's right. Because, because actually, in terms of that routing, it doesn't matter. That's right. So it's, it's, a, it's another product, or specifically this year, where it's breaking out. You know, you've got, I particularly like yours because it's very friendly with backwards compatibility, mm -hmm. but there's other vendors do doing this, but it's probably the other big thing. I, this year, to me, it's been about high dynamic range and its emergence and the fact that IP-based technology is coming out yeah. this year. We've been talking about it for at least three years, but it is now products you can buy. In a product. That's right. I think that's the anyway, thing. exciting product um, for this year at NAB, and thank you, Simon. Thanks, James. Anyway, good to see you. Good to see you too. That's James Gardner, the Cinematech Tech Geek at Cinema... Oh, I keep saying CinemaCon, but now it's NAB 2016. Bye for now.